Welcome back to the Owls Network. I'm joined with Coach Blood. Great win out there, Coach. Uh, you've already surpassed the amount of wins you guys had last season. How does it feel to so quickly have come around and turned around this program? Well, I'll, I'll cautiously answer the question. I, I don't I don't know if we're where we want to be just yet, you know. And I think this game is a great indication of that. You know, we we're better to the point where we can win an ugly game. Um, but if when we get to where we really want to be the, with a lead like that and um, at home and everything going your way, calls going your way on the field, uh, we've got to put people down and just finish the game, uh, make it easy. So it, it's great that we have surpassed last year's win total, but we're, we're far from being completely turned around. We've got a long way to go still. Sure. Well, speaking of having that lead, uh, it did dwindle as time went on. Walks seemed to be a bit of an issue. I think there were 10 total on the day. Was that in anything else that you noticed a bit of a problem with maintaining that lead? Yeah, when you, you know, we got the lead because they gave us some free stuff, you know, and that's unfortunately in, in college baseball, oftentimes that's, that's how the game works. Whoever uh, gives up the most free 90s will lose. And uh, I don't know what the tally was theirs compared to ours in, in total, but we had a lot of balls to the backstop, um, walks, HBPs, misread balls, misplayed balls. Uh, definitely didn't help us put the game away, that's for sure. Sure. Coach, this offense has been struggling so far this season. How does it feel to have put up 11 runs? Uh, it was There was a part in that game, a, time, a couple inning stretch, where we were putting really good swings on the ball. Um, we had a little stretch yesterday where we put some good swings on it. So there – there are guys in our lineup that I know when we get to the end of the season, you know, baseball is a, a long marathon, right? It's not a, a short stretch of games. Uh, so you're always graded out on, on the sum of all parts, right? So, um, you know, being probably a little over a third of the way through the season, we've got some guys who have scuffled at the start, but uh, they're good hitters, they're good players, and I know they're going to be uh, more true to themselves numbers-wise when we get to the end. And a bunch of our younger guys, you know, Chatfield, I, I don't know what else we could ask from him. He's he's had really good at bats, and um, you know Otis coming in had a good swing. Liam Conley had a good swing. Verano had a couple good swings. So uh, I think we have a handful of guys that can hit. Uh, being in the lineup consistently, and um, you know just having that 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 mojo, you know that swagger goes a long way. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you about Chatfield. He had another great game today. What sort of immediate impacts has he had? You said he's been sort of contributing in every way possible. Well, he's a freshman hitting in the three or the four hole. So, I, again, I don't know how much more we can ask from him. He's he's done a good job. Um, he's he's gotten better defensively. We've moved him around to a bunch of different spots. He's done a little at second, a little at short, a little at third. I think we've kind of settled on him at third base. But um, he he's growing up pretty quickly in terms of he's really a, a pull hitter by nature. But – He's shown the ability to stay in the middle of the field and go to the opposite field. Yesterday he had the pull side homer, and then he had an opposite field double. So uh, if you can do that, you're you're going to be a pretty dangerous hitter. Yeah, he's a great ball player. Um, you guys have a double header scheduled, first LEC games on Saturday. It remains to be seen if those will happen with the weather. But after a win today, what sort of confidence do you have going into an LEC type matchup? Well, it's great to be at home. I said this yesterday, great to be at home, great to, you know, now that we've played the second game here, get a couple of wins, um, you know, but the, the LEC games, uh, you know, they're just a little different level. You know, the intensity, the ability of the opponent, um, we're going to have to play better than we played today to, to get a winner, a couple of wins this weekend. Um, but it's, it's exciting also. You know, those are the types of challenges we want, and we want to find out where we stack up against – people in our conference great congratulations coach you had a pretty good game <laughs> thank you thank you for joining it. us coach blood we'll be back with brendan eaton right after this and he strikes him out to win the game shay zeno with the save and an 11 to 9 victory for keen state